Good morning. It's Sunday. Live with Dr. JJ from the Adam Kara Prayer Corner. A reading from 2 Kings. Now when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, for the Lord has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. When we promise our time of dedication, our moment of commitment, it is the greatest gift we can give to each other. These are the words of Elisha to Elijah. I will stand beside you. And the text suggests at least two faithful responses to the crises of in-between times, persistent and silent watchfulness. It's unclear what Elisha expected to receive from Elijah in terms of the double portion. What he does receive is the awareness that whatever Elijah has taught him up to now will have to be enough. He must go on alone. What he receives is grief. Having crossed the river, Elisha entreated Elijah to grant him a double portion of the prophet's spirit. A double portion was that the share of the inheritance the elder's son, the legitimate successor, received, and from his father in the patriarchal structure of ancient Israel, Elijah was making a bold claim, and Elijah assured him that it would be granted if he would be courageous enough to witness Elijah's departure. Here we see a final test of his courage. Would he be able to withstand an encounter with the divine? And how do we today withstand encounters with the divine? And God help us to know when you're speaking, when you are seeing, when you are listening, when you're holding us. Amen.